Okay, focus on your breath. And remember to stay here. Sometimes you need to use the meditation word. Something you repeat over and over again. Bhutto, bhutto. Or in, out, in, out. Something to remind yourself that this is where you want to be. Because the mind does have a tendency to forget. I was reading a teacher one time who teaches mindfulness as meaning just being aware of what's going on. He says, mindfulness is easy. The hard part is remembering. Well, that's actually what the mindfulness is, is the remembering. Alertness is when you're alert to what you're doing and the results you're getting. And then you try to remember, are these good results? What am I acting on? Can I recognize what's going on in my mind right now? That's what you need your memory for. If we were practicing bare awareness, if it really were bare, you wouldn't have any ability to recognize anything at all. You've got to have something stashed away in your memory that acting on greed, aversion, and delusion is a bad thing. Breaking the precepts is a bad thing. Whatever the, the Dharma practice is, you have to remember these things. So work on increasing your memory, your ability to keep things in mind. It's not necessarily that you have to have a lot of things in mind. You don't want to clutter up your mind. But you look at the task and ask yourself, okay, what needs to be done right now? And what do you know I need to remember all the way through the task? Once you figure that out, that's your appropriate attention. Okay, then you use your mindfulness and say, okay, let's just keep it in mind. Because it is easy when you get focused on the breath to get waylaid by pain or waylaid by pleasure and forget what you're there for. So work on reviving your memory all the time. So that when something comes up, you recognize it for what it is. And then you remember, okay, this kind of thing has to be dealt with in that way. That mind state has to be dealt with in this way. All those things you've learned will then have their uses. If you learn things but then you forget them at the important point, it's as if you hadn't learned anything at all. So try to keep on top of things. This is an excuse you hear all too often. Well, I'm out in the real world, and so things are happening fast, and I don't have time to remember things. Well, it's a question of what you're remembering. The mind is keeping different things in mind all the time. Simply that when you get out in the world, it's so easy to take the affairs of the world and put those in your memory bank and apply those to what you're going to do and say and think. And the series of duties and the body of knowledge that comes with the Dharma just gets pushed off to the side. So try to remember that even when you're out in the real world, it's a, it's a practice place. Because after all, it's the same mind that's been meditating, and now it's the mind that's outside. And you're, it's the mind you're trying to train. So keep the duties of the Dharma in mind as foremost, and that's when you really benefit.